Hi everybody, this is Janice, and today's video is a video that I'm doing for my friend Jessica McGuire. She is having a party, an online party, and so I'm doing this video for her ladies. So Jessica, you can enjoy and share this with your friends so they can place their order and help you to earn the artistry cartridge for 50% off. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get started because there's a few steps and then I'll tell you more about what's going on with Close to My Heart and Cricut and the Artistry and all the other physical cartridges. Um, this is what the card looks like. I made two of them so far. They're a little slightly different, but um, barely. But this is the one that you guys are going to get to make um, when you place an order on Jessica McGuire's party on my website, you will get this kit to um, make your own. All right, so let's get started. So I have cut all of my pieces from the artistry cartridge. Uh, Close to my heart carries uh, several cartridges, Cricut cartridges, um, and you can get them as a digital set and you will continue to be able to get them as a digital set. However, the physical cartridges are no longer going to be manufactured. So if you're interested in having a physical cartridge, when I say physical, I mean when you get the, where you get the book and the actual cartridge, um, and the stamp pads you get when you buy the the bundle you get three stamp pads that are exclusive to that stamp set or to that cartridge as well as a paper pack that is exclusive to that so it's a whole bundle and you can see that right on the website when you click on it it shows you what the stamp sets are and all of that i'm using today i'm using a stamp set that it comes with the flower market it has all these scripty uh font and also block letter font and so that's what I'm using for today's card. Um, I ran this paper which is four by five and a quarter inch through the rose embossing folder which is current on our website right now as well as I cut this frame from like I said from artistry great one there's so many images 700 images sayings all kinds of things it's perfect for card makers as well as stamp, um, scrapbookers all right so there's this little speech bubble and then there's all these little dots you need every single one of them so make sure that you have them all when you get your kit Okay, and this little extra flower we're going to use on the inside, so don't lose that. And then um, this paper here, this layer is emerald paper. This is eggplant, as well as all those little ones. And all of these pieces are bashful, which is the color of the year. It's only available this uh, for the entire uh, 2017 to 2018 catalog, the annual inspirations. I'm going to use my tweezers and my dual action glue pen. Right now when I'm applying this glue, it's coming out with a little blue tinge to it. And if I had allowed it to dry, it would go clear and then it would be repositionable, meaning something you can unstick and stick again, kind of like a sticky note. And then we've got the little buds, flower buds. I think this guy has to be turned around. So just first check it out before you make a commitment <laughs> and make sure it's oriented correctly. If you make a mistake, it's okay. It's a handmade card. Nobody should really be scrutinizing it because you made it yourself. Okay, and then there's all these little rosebuds. This one eggplant piece goes in the middle of the flower. Oops, it's stuck to my finger. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Sometimes it's good to stick it to the thing that you're trying to glue down. Then hold it down with your nail, and there you go. And then all these little tiny dots are like little flower buds or little flowers, whatever you want them to be. 
There's one that's larger than the others. It goes right here. Again, doesn't really matter. Just do your best. So fun. I used to use my Cricut all the time, and as you all noticed, I'm just really busy these days, and I apologize for my, you know, for not being around as much, but lots going on. All right, and then that's the little vase. I cut that out of vellum. We now carry a vellum pack, and it has three sheets of 12 by 12 inch vellum, and vellum is fun for so many um, things. Um, I just added a little bit of adhesive to the little stems of the flower to glue it down onto the vellum. Okay, and then this is the piece that we are going to stamp on, this little speech bubble. It's also from uh, artistry. And I'm just going to use some black ink. If you didn't know, our stamp pads are, are magnetic, so they close really easily, um, and they stay closed. Your lid doesn't just go flying. So that says, thinking of you. This is from my friend who has been sick this week, so I'm going to run over to her house. She lives in my neighborhood, so I'm going to leave her a little card, maybe a little soup on her doorstep, just to be a blessing, you know? Nothing like a nice homemade card and somebody thinking of you. Okay, so again, I'm just using the dual action pen to add the frame, little Polaroid frame. You just gotta hold it down, kind of really press it down. Oops. That was a little too hard. Be a little gentle as paper. <laughs> and then we're going to add a little flower vase. It's so cute. I love it. So I'm just going to add some of this dual action glue pen along the stems, flowers. It's a great tool. Use my tweezers to grab it. The little vase kind of sticks up a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, and then uh, we're going to add the sentiment. If you want to pop that up, you can. I'm not going to. i just trying to keep this simple. And again, when you shop this party, you will get this kit in the mail as soon as I can get to it. Okay, now you also get this piece of white twine. What I like to do is take a block. This happens to be the 2x2 two two inch block. If you have one, great. If you don't, you want to get the starter kit. It comes with the 2x2, two, two two, the 3x3, three three, and the 2x3.5 and and inch, which are really the most popular ones that you're going to need if you're going to get into stamping. So what I'm doing is just tying it around this block and why do I do that? Only because I feel like it's a way more stable way uh, to tie twine around a card. A lot of times if you try, what happens when you try to do it around your card stock, it, it's just harder because you know the paper, it's paper, it, it bends and moves and I like the block because I can be a little bit more aggressive with it. Okay, so I'm making a bow. And you know what? If you don't want to make a bow and you just want it to be a knot, you can you can do that. It'll look cute either way. But I'm just doing it. So now, see, that's the center. I'm not going to cut it right in the center. I'm going to cut it over to the side a little bit because if you look here, this isn't necessarily right in the middle of the card. 
So I want to cut it a little bit to the side if that makes any sense whatsoever. So you'll see that you'll need one side to be longer than the other. I just want to kind of line it up on the lip of the jar. Not the lip, but like the edge of the jar. And I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive here. Tape is better. My tape is not near me right now. I forgot to get it. going to leave it like that because that would be too dangerous. So I'm using our stapler. We have this little stapler in the catalog that um, staples teeny tiny staples. So cute. And there you have it. And then just because we can, we're going to add some bling. These are the bitty sparklers. Love these little guys. Oh, they're turned around. Okay, here's two. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, it went flying. Here it is. All right. So I'm going to put one in the middle. I'm just going to do three. You know, and if you have some at home that are bigger and you want to add those, then, you know, just have fun. Have fun with it. You can put them wherever you want, wherever you think they look best. They are sticking to me. Here we go. There. Cute. Okay. And then I'm going to get my base, card base, and add a little bit more adhesive here and here. This is embossed paper, so it's good to add extra measure of tape. And you can pop this layer up too. You know, it's just all up to you how you want to do this. And then what I'm going to do is stamp the inside with an inside sentiment, which comes, again, with the stamp set that come, that is a, um, part of the flower market bundle. So I'm going to stamp it, and it says, hang in there. This is a good encouragement card. And I'm going to take that little flower that was in the center of the big flower in the front and just add it to the inside. I'm working on my Versamat, which I happen to love. It's, it's self-healing. It has all these great lines, which are perfect for centering. you have it. Hang in there. And there's the front. So thanks again for watching. Thank you for supporting Jessica and um, shopping her party. Um, if you're interested in having your own online party, uh, please leave me a message. Go ahead and, um, you know, shop her party and then leave a message saying I would like to host my own online party. And I would love to, to do that for you. So thanks again, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.